2.5 lung capacity investigation. So the first thing that comes up when you open up the uh, doc is weak question. How does smoking affect lung capacity? Well, we need to see that it's a very vague question and I'm asking you for a better one. How you do that is by looking at the data. Um, so the data set has um, male and female ages, if they smoke or not, or and the um, FVC, which is the um, uh, forced uh, lung capacity, um, which is the maximum amount of air that can that you can actually push out uh, of your lungs after uh, fully inhaling. Okay, so what it's asking is a little more specific question about smoking affecting lung capacity. Um, you can add maybe sex or maybe age to this um, factor, and then you have to rearrange and order the table accordingly. So depending on your question, um, in my opinion, you can either do sex or age. You don't necessarily have to do both um, when you're talking about this, or you can do them all. Um, so how does smoking affect lung capacity? You want to make a deeper question by um, referring to the table and using another data set. A data set um, is a column, okay? So sex or age. So you wanna make it a little bit more scientific in the fact that you're adding another, uh, uh, you're adding more depth to this investigation, okay? So um, you will have to reorder um, things. Uh, you might have to reorder the age. Um, if you select all the ages here, you can go to data and then you can sort it um, smallest to largest. I would say expanding the selection because it'll take all of the um, uh, other columns with it when it sorts. And there you go. So if you didn't take it, um, you would only have the age being in order and then all the other information would be wrong. So what I did again, just make sure data, and then I went to uh, sort here and then it'll, it asked again, I'm expanding the selection to add to the other page. Like see how the patient numbers are all weird now? Don't worry about that because you're wanting some type of order, okay? So um, if you wanna do uh, the sex, you can highlight it and then go to data and then do the same thing, expand the selection and it'll put in only the differences between males and females. Okay, so you can do the same thing here with smoking. All right, so you can do the same thing. So um, you can take a look at ages, you can take a look at how um, males versus females, um, and then you just continue on observing the data that you have, you've decided to use. Um, and then you answer the questions according to what you have found. I hope that helps.